Wagwan, everybody. I am your Jamaican queen, Miss Y. You are tuned into Hawaii See It TV, and this is Why Caught Alive. So, y'all, I have been seeing over there on TikTok this whole Christiana versus Canvas Beauty and the Body Butter debacle. If y'all don't know, Christiana, she is a beauty influencer. She has over a million um, followers on TikTok. And she did a story on her TikTok where she was talking about- Just a warning, if anybody caught with the body glaze trend, like I did when it came out, I bought like probably eight different body glazes. I was like obsessed with them briefly. And then I kind of like phased out of them. I use them here and there. Um, I've had now three of my body glaze like start to grow spores. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Like it's making my skin crawl. Um, so hold on. I'm going to do another video without the filter so you can see the spores that are in this body glaze. All right. So I don't know how well y'all can see that. But those little tiny dots are literal spores that are for I'm officially going to have to throw so that's what christiana had to say basically she hadn't used her canvas beauty body glaze products in a while she went to use a couple of them and then she saw that there were some white dots in the products which she thought were um spores or some bacteria being formed and y'all the people were dragging christiana please note that in the full video, she didn't tell anybody not to buy the Canvas Beauty products. What she was telling them was not to buy it in huge amounts because she felt like what was on her products um, were spores. Because she was being dragged, she came back and she gave a response or I should say an apology and um, this is what she had to say in her apology. I said, to me, it appeared to be spores or bacterial colonies. Now, what I also said in my Instagram story was that I own several of them. I probably own between eight and 10 of them. I went crazy like everybody did when it was first really hitting the market. I bought a bunch of them and then I kind of phased out the way you phase out like using products and I go back to them here and there. I went back to one. I saw the growths on the surface. I scraped the top of it thinking that it was something that I did. Maybe I dripped water in it or something like that. So I scraped the top of it, set it to the side. I went back to it about a month later and the little whatever on it was back. Picked up another one and saw that around the edges of one, it was also having the same thing happen. Now again, I wanna be clear that my concern was probably that the shelf life is not that long on that product. When I can tell, it seems to be like a very like raw organic product and those kind of products don't usually have preservatives in them and things that can help make them shelf stable for very long. And because I did buy so many of them, I don't go through them quick enough. So if it does have a shorter shelf life and that happens after so long, after them expiring, then maybe you shouldn't buy as many. And that's exactly what I said in my Instagram story. So to be clear, I I feel like this product is probably just one of those products that's gonna have to develop as the company grows. We see this a lot with small businesses where they have a product, it's amazing, it blows up, and then when they start producing to the masses, they have to start considering things like the shelf life of it, the stability of the product, the science and chemistry behind the product. We saw this with the pink sauce lady. She had an amazing product, but it wasn't shelf stable. She went to a lab, now it's shelf stable. So I feel like this is something that Canvas Beauty is probably gonna work on as they continue to grow. And I think in the meantime, what could be helpful is maybe care instructions, maybe cards, maybe something on the package that says the shelf life of the product. A lot of people had concerns about how it was stored. I stored it in a cabinet with all my other body and skincare products, so I don't think it was stored in a particularly damp area, but I am in Texas. I also had a lot of people in my DMs after I posted that saying the same thing happened to their body glaze, so I do think that maybe the formula needs a little bit of work, and I think that's part of the growing pains, and I think we need to start giving small businesses, specifically black-owned businesses, the chance to experience their growing pains and receive constructive criticism. So let's... So y'all, even that gracious response, apology, and clarification that Christiana provided was still met by some with negativity. Some people felt like she was being shady, calling Canvas Beauty a small business. Some people felt like she posted what she posted to her story to create negativity surrounding the live that I guess Stormy did. Um, yesterday and some people you know are saying that they feel like christiana she didn't need to clarify anything some people felt like she didn't do anything wrong christiana as i said she has over a million followers so there are people who are still 
going to support her some feel like she handled the situation correctly um and there are some people who feel like she quote unquote attacked a black owned business and that as i said before that she did it on purpose because a lot of people said that christiana's live well not live christiana posted to her story right before stormy went live to i guess you know do her her sales on tiktok you had some scientists who were in the comments saying that um you can't see spores with your naked eyes and let me tell you this i'm not a scientist so maybe all of that is true but i just feel like why could she not share her experience i don't feel like her initial video was messy she was just telling people don't buy in big batches right because i've seen a video of christiana that somebody posted first of all her name is christiana not christina y'all you see the eye in there it's not christina the eye's not silent but that's not here nor there talking about spores and body glaze i don't know what this but i think i've seen the body glaze like on my timeline don't have any don't know who the owner is don't care but the fact that y'all do not let people have any type of experience other than positivity when it comes to anything is just crazy to me. She was just sharing her experience and she didn't even seem like she was trying to be nasty or like malicious. Y'all like, she planned that with the TikTok lives. Y'all really think this woman, this woman is really like looking at that, the body glaze owner's TikTok and when they're going live and when they're doing this and that and planning it. If y'all do, y'all are off your fucking rocker. You really are. Y'all really have to stop with the shenanigans. It's so right now it's a little bit little bit split over there on tiktok there are some people who are riding till the wheels fall off for stormy steel canvas beauty and those body glaze and then there are fans of christiana her one point something million followers who all feel like she did nothing wrong and as a beauty influencer someone who is talking about products that we are all putting on our skins she had every right to speak about her experience and what she thought she was seeing in her body glaze products but the reason why i am actually posting about this is because i want to talk about the actual backlash that christiana is experiencing right now to the point where she felt like she needed to come out and provide an apology right I want to ask Stormy and all the people who are fans of Stormy within the Love and Marriage Huntsville sector, all the people who are always talking about Melometer content creators, I want to know from y'all, but especially Stormy, if with this Christiana thing, if you can see how when people support you, they can be out here on social media attacking people and saying things in your defense that you are not co-signing in the same way that content creators can be here on youtube or over there on instagram making videos and making posts in defense of melody or in support of melody and she isn't co-signing any of it because with how big christiana is in the beauty influencer sector, I am sure that Stormy has seen Christiana's initial post stating that there might be spores or bacteria or whatever in her body glaze. I'm sure she has seen Christiana's follow-up video where she offers clarification and an apology. And I'm sure that she's seen all these other videos of people just going in and attacking Christiana for her opinion. So Stormy, why are you not coming out saying, hey guys, you know, thank you for your support. Um, Christiana, I saw your video. I hope that we can chat, but let me provide some information on the body glaze products this is how you need to store them if you do see um spots just know that it's not bacteria the products are natural blah 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 and some of the oils they might clump up and create spots in the products but it's not bacteria like stormy can use this moment 
to provide some education about her products, but she's not saying anything. Christiana is being bashed right now by the Canvas Beauty Body Glaze supporters. Is Stormy co-signing this? Because this is their narrative. When anybody says anything negative about them, it means that Melody is co-signing it. So the backlash that Christiana and others like her who have a negative experience when it comes to the body glaze products are receiving on TikTok is Stormy co-signing the backlash that these people are receiving. Inquiring minds would like to know. Because the way I see it is Stormy is one of the people on the Love and Marriage Huntsville cast who believe that Melody Cherie can get on social media and ask her fans or the mellow meters to stop posting or speaking negatively about her fellow castmates. So in the same way they feel like Melody can tell strangers to stop and can tell con- content creators to stop, I guess is the same way that Stormy Steele can come out and tell her Canvas Beauty fans, the fans of her body glaze, to stop attacking people who are sharing th- their negative experiences with Canvas Beauty and with this body glaze product because Christiana is not the first and only customer of the body glaze who has made um, a post speaking on their experience with the product that is not all that positive. There are people who have said that the scents don't last and that some of it is waxy. I've seen somebody who claimed that after a while, it starts to have this sour smell. And on these people's um, TikToks, you see people commenting and telling them that basically they're not being honest. Oh, I have the same scent and that doesn't happen. And it's like, okay, because it didn't happen with the product that you received doesn't mean that this person is being untruthful when they're saying that their scent doesn't last or that it smells waxy or whatever the case may be. So in the same way they want Melody to tell strangers to stop talking about them, I hope to see Stormy come out and tell her fans of her body butter to stop attacking people who are only sharing their thoughts, opinions, and experiences with her products. And that's just how I see it. Please drop down in the comment section below and let me know how you see things too. Like this video, share the link to my channel if you feel like my content needs some more crowd. Subscribe if you have not done so yet. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter now called X, and on TikTok at How I See It. Until next time, as I always say, walk good. Bye.